What I've been thinking about these years is how do you make work that's an antidote rather than stating the problem? So how do I make useful art? A template of possibility of human behavior as a kind of healing energy. Then there was a point where I thought, you know, the people that come to my work, we probably already know what the problem is. So I would like to make art that is a kind of antidote. got invited to play twice at this festival. And the one is a commissioned piece of our project called Mike Somai with James Ginsberg. It's going to be our first live performance ever. We play electronic elements that come from a backing track, plus like piano, drums, hurdy-gurdy. We also made it a little bit of a vocal record, so we like singing a lot. The other show on the Saturday, we are doing a collaboration with my friend Kiani Devay. She's an amazing dancer and choreographer. I haven't been performing in the last two years, so I really miss like the energy of the people in the audience. When there's this magic moment of exchange. I'm here to present a new collaborative performance with Helm, and it's an audiovisual project. We use live camera materials and drawings and light, refraction, all in real time. We both have an interest in texture through our medium. Nate's visuals are very textured. My music is pretty much all about texture. have our take on Norwegian folk music. So we're mixing some aspects of electronic music with older archive material recordings, fiddlers and other types of traditional instruments. We've been using this idea of just intonation. I guess it's an idea that also came from that traditional music was first and foremost dance music. It's a way to try and make the music so that it would still have that function bringing people together. It shows our bridgings between musics that haven't been in the foreground. At Rewire, I'm having my European debut, and I'm also presenting a live version of my album, The Long Count, which was made with Mayan instruments and artificial intelligence. Advancing forward in a medium isn't necessarily just going to sound a certain way. I think bringing the Mayans to a, a contemporary context is also like an effort to gain some of their insight. I'm presenting my blend of Nongok and club music. Nongok music is usually played in a ceremony. And I wanted to bring that into club music where I can enjoy it safely. When you're not exposed to something, you don't know that it exists. And I know that once people are, then they just jump on it. People that really don't have that privilege of hearing music, when they do and they know that it exists, they swim on this beautiful ocean of music that we all have in our lives. <laughs>